Hi guys, so today I am actually bringing you a video that I've been wanting to do for quite a while and I'm really excited about it actually after how it has went so far. It is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable um, Full Cover Foundation like kind of first impressions review and I'm going to keep you updated during the day. Um, it's actually sitting here. Oh. Um, this is the bottle. It is so stunning. You take the cap off and then it has like another cap and I was kind of like, how am I going to pump this? Like there's no pump to it, but it's actually a wee dropper, which I think is really, really cute. I just kind of wiped it on my face because I this is my personal one. So it's not too bad. Whereas if you were going to be using it on clients, you can't really wipe it on everybody's face and put it back in. Um, you would have to do it maybe on the back of your hand and then apply it to the face but this is my own personal one so I just applied it straight. I'm in the colour 33 beige which I actually think is a really nice colour for me now that I can see with my fake tan I think it's actually went really really nice and this colour this foundation is hard to get in Northern Ireland so that is why I did get it one for my fake tan because I'm not going to be wearing this foundation as an everyday use um, because I really don't want to run out of it because so far I love this foundation. So you'll just have to wait and see if my opinion changes during the day again. I'm going to be kind of checking in with you and telling you my opinion if it's changed or not. So, so far, you will see, it's went on nice, but we never know. It can always change. So yeah, if you're interested in watching um my first impressions, reviews, demo of this foundation then please keep watching and also it's going to be like kind of a vlog type style because I'm going to be taking news with me and updating you so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Okay so I'm just going to get started because I've actually just turned on my camera and the battery is flashing so I'm going to try to get this done as quickly as possible and then keep coming back for like updates and stuff. Um, so my face is paler than my neck because I do have tan on my neck. So I'm using the uh, shade 33 Beige. I have never used this before and I have a feeling it might be slightly dark. The woman matched me in um, John Lewis but I'm not too sure if she's done it right. So I'm just going to give it a go. So you take the um, lid off and then you twist this. I've never used this before and it is on this wee stick. And I, I've just seen people going like like that hopefully i can make this color work um apparently it's quite full coverage so i really don't know how much i should be putting on apparently quite a lot <laughs> in my books right hopefully that is okay the color does look slightly dark but I, I got this matched when I was fake tan because it is a more expensive foundation and it's hard to get over here. So I wanted to try it. Uh, just really wear it when I'm out um, wearing fake tan. So I'm just going to start blending this in. I'm using a Morphe E31. This is my favourite foundation brush. So I'm just going to start patting this in the way I do with my normal foundation. So far it actually feels very lightweight. But the coverage look on real sorry if you can see my mirror it's just the way i'm facing at the minute so it's maybe slightly dark but it's okay we can make this work it is really full coverage oh the color could be okay maybe if i had like my fake tan, tan freshly done it would be even better See, my camera always like washes me out, so I'm hoping it does. It looks darker in person compared to what it does online. But then again, so does my fake tan and stuff. Oh my goodness, the coverage, guys! The coverage is beautiful. Oh my god! Like my skin looks airbrushed. I don't know if you can really see that on camera. But oh my god guys, it literally looks airbrushed and believe me my skin is anything but airbrushed lately. Can you guys see this? 
Like maybe it's not looking as unreal on camera, but in real life this is so nice looking. Like and it really feels like I'm wearing no makeup. Okay, so this is gonna be slightly different because my other camera actually just died. So I'm just trying to make the most of it instead of completely wasting this video because I do want it to be a first impressions. So I hope I'm in focus. I really can't tell. I'm not used to filming with this camera, but we're just gonna try our best. So yeah, I, I so far my face looks photoshopped. Like, no joke guys, this, the hype about this foundation really is true so far. I have oily skin for those that don't know. So, we need to see how well this lasts. But, so far, I think it looks flawless. I'm now going to do like my concealer and all of that. Um, I might actually just do it on here but fast forward it because you have seen it all that much. Um, so, I'll... I'll still record it but I'll just fast forward it and I'll let you know how it all went on on top of the foundation and what I think. I will be setting this foundation. I set all my foundations um, just with the way you translucent powder so I will be setting it. Um, I didn't use a primer. I never use a primer so my kind of thoughts is if a foundation doesn't hold on with a, without a primer it's a craft foundation so I'm not going to like it. So yeah. Um, I'm just going to crack on with the rest of my makeup now and then I'll get back to you and I'll also do like updates during the day. Okay, so that is the rest of the face products. I think they actually all went on absolutely gorgeous. Like my face, honestly, looks flawless. Um, I know that this camera has like a beautifying effect. So sometimes it does make you look better than what you really do. But I'm actually not too sure how to even turn that off on this camera. So um, I'm just telling you, like it really does look flawless like it looks really really lovely Um, the only thing I would like to say is please be careful when you're powdering this foundation I, I'm sure you can get a cakey very very easy and I actually thought for a minute that my forehead was starting to go cakey but I managed to save it with before it done that so please be careful when you're doing that so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup on and put my lipstick on and come back and let you know my first impressions and then I will um, keep in touch during the day. Okay so I have now finished my eye makeup and put some lipstick on so I am now going to get changed and go into town to get some lunch with my best friend and maybe do a wee bit of shopping and stuff like that so I am going to bring this camera with me I think and like kind of do we catch up during the day how long it's been on so this has been on roughly from about 12 o'clock Today I got ready quite late today so it's been on from about 12 o'clock so I'm going to see how long it lasts. I'm going to keep it on as long as I can, um, probably till about 9, 10 at night so it'll get a good 9 hours wear anyway. So yeah I will definitely keep you updated on what I think but so far I love this foundation. I absolutely love it which is kind of annoying because we cannot get it over here in Northern Ireland so kind of annoying so I may be giving some of my friends over in England a shout to go and get this for me um but yeah absolutely love this and I will keep these updated and yeah so if you just want to find out how I think this foundation wears or if you're just happy enough stopping here then please keep watching okay so it's already been a very eventful day as I was nearly on a car crash and I have to admit I have cried a wee bit because I was so so scared like it, it was it could have been really really awful 
luckily nothing happened but yeah the foundation is lasting really really nicely so far if you can see again it was it's been a eventful day so far so it's standing up pretty well as i was in a bit of a mess earlier so yeah we update day not going good so far but hopefully going to change soon and hopefully i stop shaking so i can go get some lunch and not cry anymore so yeah talk to you soon hey guys so it is now um let me double check the time it is now 20 to 4 so this foundation's been on for four hours and holy crap I love it. I think it looks so, so nice. I'm currently vlogging in a car park right now. So I hope nobody drives past because I will be very embarrassed because I hate stuff like this. So uh, I still think it looks absolutely amazing. I will zoom in. And like I was sweating. I went to the Apple shop and it was so busy. So I was like sweating. So it has lasted so well so far. So four hours down, I am still as impressed as I was the minute I put it on. Um... I watch Tally's, T-A-T-I, uh, I think that's what you call her. Um, I watch all of her kind of first impressions on foundations and stuff. And um, I love how she does like these updates in her car and like walking about the shops and stuff. So I was thinking I might as well add a little bit of um, what I got in town today. I just got a few wee makeup bits and pieces. So first of all, I got the Laura Geller highlighter in um, Gilded Honey. Everybody says that this is like a must, so I thought I would pick it up because I had a few features left from Christmas. I just dropped it on the floor. Brilliant. I then got the Ingloss 301 eyeshadow. It is a matte red brick colour eyeshadow and it's been out of stock for ages. So I have one space in my Ingloss palette to fill up. So I, that was the one I wanted. So I've been waiting to get that in. And then just two uh, NYX NYX. Um, products i got the nyx glam liner in 07 it looks gray in this but it's actually oh, it's like rose gold it's so nice i might do a swatch later when i get home and i also got the nyx blutter gloss in madeline 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 um, so I got that too and then I just got a few things that I'm going to be wearing for the weekend but I'm not going to go through them because I can't be bothered. So yeah, so far I am loving it and yeah, I will keep you updated and log back in soon. Okay, so I was going to go and fix my lipstick and turn all my filming lights on and set this up properly but to be honest, I really can't be bothered. Um, so I'm just going to kind of finish the like the first impressions vlog type thing here it is now 9 33 so it's been on for nine and a half hours and i don't know what you guys think but i think it looks really bloody good bar my messed up lipstick because i had dinner and stuff earlier and haven't fixed it since um i'm absolutely loving this i swear down i have not touched up once And like, it is still sitting, for my lipstick, it is still sitting perfect. I'm digging my eyeshadow today. I'm loving it. Um, oh, too much. But yeah, I think it's sitting absolutely perfect. I am so happy with how long this has stayed on, how perfect this still looks. I honestly normally need to blot at least once and I haven't blotted, like not at all today so yeah i'm absolutely really really happy with this um i wish i could wear it as an everyday foundation but obviously it's hard to get so i'm, go I'm going to keep it for special occasions and stuff but yeah if you were thinking about getting this foundation i say go for it um if you can get your hands on it i really really recommend it and i am so happy with this and um, the way all of the products that I put on top have stayed on I'm really happy with and I just think it looks flawless I would definitely be wearing this on every night out so yeah this is the end of my first impressions I hope you like the way I've done this if you want any more first refresh first impressions like this I can't speak today I don't know what's wrong with me um then please comment down below again I love your comments more than anything i would rather have a comment than a thumbs up or anything like i love hearing from you guys and hearing that i'm doing the right sort of things that you want to see so definitely comment below even if it's just to say hi anything at all so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye